It's only got 35,000 miles on the clock. Just taking a close look at these arches because there's absolutely no rust on this example. We also have, which is a weird sight for me to see in one of these. I think I'm actually might, I might get a little bit lost. Now, unfortunately, I shall have to return this car, not to that place, because that's not where it, we are. <laughs> what an honor, I do feel very privileged. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the Driven 24-7 Automotive YouTube channel. Today it's quite a special video as I bring to you a Nissan 100NX. But this isn't in blue, which means this isn't actually mine. So you may have seen this car pop up in a recent upload of mine, and this car actually was at the Fuel Power Party. I bumped into this car for the first time, seen it in the flesh, which is such a joy. I also bumped into the owner of this car, who's called Stuart. And you may have also seen this car feature on another fellow automotive YouTubers channel, but Stuart had already reached out to me and we'd been in email contact planning this day. It's just that someone else beat me to it. But nevertheless, obviously this is a great car for me to film because I have one of these myself. But the big difference is this Nissan 100 NX is actually an older version. So this is on a 1993 plate. And the big thing here is it's only got 35,000 miles on the clock. So not only is it another 100 NX, which I don't see in the flash at all, we've got a real gem here. So today this car is also featuring on the channel. Stuart is gonna kindly let me take out for a drive because this is also a manual. My personal 100 NX is an automatic. So not only have I never seen one of these in the flesh, I've also never driven a manual. So I'm quite excited for that. And I'm just gonna look around it. There's some differences between this older model compared to my 1995 model. At the moment, I'm just gonna concentrate on this beautiful car we have behind me. It's also worth pointing out that the owner Stuart this is one of his many cars, so we will also be filming his collection, which you'll see in another YouTube upload. So he is a fellow petrol head. He's only had the 100 NX for around about a month or so. Because this is an absolutely immaculate example of the Nissan 100 NX, Stuart did pay a good price for this, but in the great scheme of things, the price he did pay, I think he's got an absolute bargain, really, to know that this 100 NX has also got a couple of modifications on. My Nissan 100 NX has got alloy wheels, this has got different alloy wheels and another really nice modification to the rear. So let's show you around this beautiful 100 NX which should be in a museum really, it is just stunning. Stuart's going to go and enjoy the uh, pleasures of an automatic 100 NX. Taking into consideration this is a red car back in 1993. If red paint isn't looked after, it can definitely fade, but this looks like it's been well looked after. Stuart actually made the journey to Cambridgeshire to go and collect this thing. He has been after one. Back in the day, he had a relationship. The girlfriend at the time test drove one of these where they weren't out for that long. The girlfriend at the time didn't end up buying them when they test drove, but since then, Stuart has wanted one. And then this immaculate example came up for sale and he's now added it to his fairly big collection of JDM cars. But we're here to look at the Nissan, so I can't fault the paintwork at all. I don't think there's any rust on this car like there is mine. The headlights are just like new, the fog lamps. It's just absolutely amazing. Looks like you've got dealer plates on there as well. To see an absolutely immaculate condition one, comparing it to mine, it's just really, really cool. So here's one of the kind of modifications as such. So this is how Stuart bought the car. So we've got some different alloy wheels on here. He has got the originals at home, but here we have some, how big are they? We have some 15 inch uh, calibre in kind of gunmetal alloy wheels. Looks like the calipers have been painted silver as well. Of course, the plastics on this car are gonna be like new as well. They're still very, very black. Even things like the wiper arms, the scuttle panel here, black as it should be. All the rubbers also are all in this gray color. This is how they should be. So yeah, just all the rubbers, all the black plastics as such are absolutely night new. On this model, we have the two tones. So we've got the red paintwork and the gray kind of plastics as such have actually been coloured. This is obviously as well like mine. We've got the T-bar roof, the glass is currently in at the moment. Onto the rear and I'm just taking a close look at these arches because there's absolutely no rust on this example. To the rear of the car and you'll notice this isn't a standard exhaust system so again Stuart bought it with this exhaust system. I'll show you what it sounds like in a little while. Real nice deep burble, nothing over the top but definitely a must have and it really suits the car the look of it really suits the car and the noise does as well real nice different 
to mine 100 nx sticker stickers in really nice condition the whole of the rear is of course got the dealer plates on the rear as well and on to the driver's side now no rust here but it's just absolutely exceptional condition this car quick look onto the interior and it's the same story as the exterior of this car just absolutely immaculate these seats are real nice and soft the ones in mine are really comfy but more of a darker interior on this particular car we also have which is a weird sight for me to see in one of these we have the manual five speed gearbox we have what looks like the original radio which is really nice to see all the plastics in here of course look like new yeah absolutely stunning obviously in the back there as well i just flip the seat forward just don't look like they've been sat in at all no strut issue here for this example of this 100 nx we obviously have the roof um bags as well but nice even the little light cluster here just looks like new and there we have it 35,000 miles 279 so you now join me inside a manual nissan 100 nx with only 35,000 on the clock a home drive driving someone's pride and joy so I am a little bit nervous. I don't often drive other people's cars. Well, I'll tell you what, straight away, it feels much more, suspension just feels much more, I don't know, more refined in this, I'd say, compared to mine. That's for sure. And also, you haven't got the Revy automatic gearbox in this car either like I have in mine so to have that control of what gearing it's a manual obviously it's really nice having this sports coupe of a Nissan 100 NX this car and my 100 NX are both 1.6 engines this is actually run off a carburetor mine's actually fuel injection so I don't really think there's a faster car out of the two maybe this one might be faster because you have got the whole manual gearbox side of things but to have that manual gearbox in a sports car like this i really like it but then i do obviously appreciate an automatic because i just like an automatic yeah brakes are quite not bad either the gearbox feels really really nice and smooth the exhaust sounds really nice from the rear nice touch that is so this car as far as i'm aware doesn't actually need anything doing Stuart the owner as I said he's got a collection of these old Nissans and Datsuns which I'll show you in another video and he just enjoys tinkering with them all, cleaning them all up real nice. Yeah it's just what you do as a hobby isn't it? But mechanically obviously this is all on the road as I said he hasn't had this car for long at all. Um, he made a trip to get this car especially. Not many 100 NXs for sale on the market let alone one in this condition. And we're just filming in the New Forest, I'm just going to take it up a few of the beautiful New Forest roads we have here down south. And yeah, just get a feel for the handling of this car. Clutch is a little bit high I suppose, but that's probably just the way it is. Just getting used to it all really. That exhaust sounds lovely. Gear changes are so, so smooth. It's not a lot of kind of feel to it as such, but just having a nice gear knob as well like yeah it's just silly little things like that i kind of wish mine was a manual now really into fifth so so smooth oh like i said these aren't cars unless you know what these are you won't go looking for one and wanting to have one but because stuart is into his datsuns and nissans he has wanted one of these since back in the day and he's now not only bought one but he's bought an immaculate example of one as well the condition of this car does remind me of when i used to own my museum minter honda uh, civic i had which was also in a really nice bright red just like this car so to have real nice retro cars with low mileage and that look like new for the year is just another league altogether really of owning these old 90s cars so it does get used, it does go to shows. I saw this car for the first time at the Fuel Power Party. Like I said at the start of this video, me and Stuart have been emailing, planning a day for me to view, view and film this car. And that today is that day. So it's been a, yeah, a good day so far. Corners really well. It's not gonna be a fast car. I'm not gonna be racing around in someone else's pride and joy. That is not my kind of thing. But I am definitely enjoying putting it along at 40 miles per hour, looking out for the horses, 
and yeah what a lovely lovely car <laughs> i said to stuart does he want to do a straight swap because mine's currently up for sale <laughs> i don't think that's kind of a fair deal on his part but yeah what a lovely lovely car the seats in my nissan 100 nx and in this one are just equally as comfy yeah it's just really really nice the steering wheel just feels really nice as well just nice condition like i say this example's got the original radio in i think stuart is gonna swap it for a more modern one that's what i've done in mine i don't blame him either to Stuart for letting me take some time out of his day and not only let me film his immaculate Nissan 100 NX but I, you also let me take it for a drive as well. Because I own one of these cars myself this has been a really interesting insight as to how mine once looked and it could kind of look nearly like this if I was to put my mind to it and some money into it of course but yeah to see an immaculate example of 100 NX is not only a rare sight but it's been a pleasure for me to see it and to get this car on the channel so once again a big thank you to Stuart I hope you've liked this video let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this absolutely rare immaculate gem of a Nissan 100 NX I have here today thanks for watching see you in another one Now this might 